creating short form videos is easier than it ever has been before. We can use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 to generate the script and super simple software to edit it all. And I don't think I need to tell you how powerful video content is. It's one of the best ways to build an audience from scratch online, but it does take a little more work than tweeting or writing blog posts, right? And that's why I'm creating this video where my goal is to take out as much work as possible out of the video creation process. And I'm about to share a bunch of tips and tricks on how to do this as a beginner. But first we need to talk about the plan because the videos that you create are only as good as the idea that you start off with. It's the most important part of the entire process. So let's talk about how to get a quality idea. And as per usual on this channel, we're not just gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna start by showing you two short video niches, which you could start creating in today. And this is the first one I discovered I consider a good idea if you're just starting out. Very simple to make and effective, have a look. This is what a salary of $100,000 looks like after taxes in Austria. Gross annual income $100,000. Income tax $27,111. Sickness. You get the idea. It's about finances in a particular country. And he did some research on the taxation there, which you can always do just by using Google and then created a short form video around that. The reason I think this is a good idea to pursue is because you could do it essentially for every country in the world. It doesn't matter if you're in North America, Australia or Africa. It's always going to be interesting how different countries handle money and how the taxation looks there, right? And in a second, I'll reveal the exact prompts we'll be using to craft a video like this. But before that, I want to show you another niche. And that's actually what we'll be creating for today, just because I I also want to use the video that we'll be crafting step by step today. And that is in my niche, in AI, right? You probably realize that it's a super hot topic right now. And although the supply for videos has been going way up recently, there's still a lot of new opportunities as people are building new apps every day. So you can talk about apps in short form videos like this one. Artificial intelligence has come a long way. Here are three AI tools that you never knew existed. Number one, supermeme.ai. You can now create memes with the help of AI. And look at that, this guy's killing it with simple shorts like this. He's getting hundreds of thousands of views by following a very similar recipe to what we'll be doing here today. So before we move on to planning and scripting this video, I want to show you two tools that I actually use to do this. So if you go on YouTube, one of the best tools if you're creating shorts is simply checking out YouTube search. If I go ahead and search for free AI apps, look, he even pops up right here. And I could review some of these shorts and see what did well and what didn't do so well. And by looking at the view count and the comments, I can get a feeling for what has a content market fit. So I'm not out here here spending my time creating videos and hoping for the best. I'm going to use this information to enhance my decision on what idea to pursue. If you didn't know, another fantastic one is Google Trends. So you can just go to trends.google.com. And for example, if you look for ChatGPT, we're going to see how many searches happen for this worldwide. All I got to do is change this filter to worldwide. And we're going to see that the topic is only getting more and more popular. So it's still a good idea to create content around ChatGPT as they keep introducing new topics. And down here, you could see OpenAI is a breakout topic that is also trending right now. So you can create around this. Okay, now let's Let's talk about GPT 3.5, the model of chat GPT that was used up until now against GPT 4. Generally speaking, GPT-4 does a better job with the same prompts as GPT-3.5 did. And if you go to the deep end of its advanced capabilities, you will find GPT-4 yielding way better results. It's more creative. Sometimes the outputs make more sense. And as you'll see soon in this video, when it comes to generating ideas, it is simply put superior to GPT-3.5. But no worries, we'll be comparing these two as we move through the video. Okay, but now it's time to hop into ChatGPT and create scripts that we'll be using here. So I'll provide this in the description below, but for the finances in particular, particular country's niche that I outlined, you would want to use a prompt like this. Write an emotionally engaging script for a 30 second YouTube short about the cost of living in Switzerland. Make the content data driven and controversial. Emotionally engaging is a keyword that I really like. It's a little less strong than clickbaity. And I found this to induce just the right amount of interest when you're writing scripts. Then with 30 seconds, we put a constraint on it. YouTube short, we give it context. You could also use the name of other platforms. But in my experience, the outcome is identical as it really understands this. And here we have the topic, right? Cost of living in Switzerland. If you were to go with this niche, you could just switch this up to any country in the world and it will keep going. Just make sure to fact check all the numbers in the end because ChatGPT sometimes messes up on that front. And by adding make the content data driven and controversial, we add a certain style to this, which I found to work quite well in some of the shorts I researched. Controversial just gives it more potential to go viral and data driven means that you're bringing some value to the table, although people might not know your face yet. And again, let's compare this prompt in GPT 3.5 versus GPT 4. And here the difference between two of them is quite visible. But I don't think I could definitely say that one is better than the other. They're just different here. So GPT 3.5 in this case goes more with a fact-driven and general point of view. 
it followed our data-driven approach, but picked a neutral voice for the voiceover presenter. In GPT-4, it went more into the story side of things, which depending on your goals and storytelling skills might be a better approach, but I wouldn't dare to say that this is just flat out better every time. But again, we could change all this by going into the prompt and actually adding the characteristics of the storyteller. And overall, I would just say if you have both, there's no reason not to try both and see what you like more. Ideally, you can even take inspiration from the route that GPT-4 took. And you can always add to the GPT-3.5 prompt and make it talk like more of a storyteller. But from my testing throughout the last week, I'll just tell you if you're trying to tell stories, GPT-4 is your friend here. For this video, we'll stick more with the factual and data-driven approach that GPT-3.5 gave us here. And that brings me to the next topic. Do you want to use your face in this? Well, look, the reality is ideally you do. Nothing communicates as much personality as a human. But if you don't feel comfortable, I understand this, you can get around it by making your scripts even better. Just realize that by not using your face, you're facing 10 times the competition that you would if you're using your face, because literally anybody can create anonymous videos. And secondly, it's going to be way harder to build a community. So you need to make up for those facts with better content quality. And that's why you need to listen close in this video, because I'll be sprinkling these little tips that I learned over the years all across the video. Okay, and now let's run this prompt in GPT-4 and compare the outputs. Okay, now that we put these side by side, you can see just how much more creative GPT-4 is. And when you look at the results here, you can really see that. Most of the second half here just starts with the most epic, the most addictive, the most something. Whereas if we look at GPT-4, it really maintains a variety within the ideas. Look at that, every single one of these takes a completely different approach, while still perfectly matching our request of giving us 30 ideas for YouTube Shorts, about YouTube Shorts, based on previously viral YouTube content. So as you can see, for generating ideas, especially many ideas, GPT-4 is simply better. Okay, but in our case, we're going to be going with the AI niche because I want to post this short too. And let's be smart about this. Let's not just go with the typical here are free AI apps approach. Let's go a step further. Let's talk about an AI apps database. And I happen to know of this site called futuretools.io, which belongs to a fellow AI YouTuber called Matt. And he actually does an excellent job of curating all different types of apps. And by talking about this in our short, we're not going to talk about free apps, but we're going to talk about a tool that helps you find as many apps as you want. Actually, he features over a thousand apps, which is going to be excellent for marketing marketing purposes, we can just list 1000 plus. Okay, so let's customize this prompt together to fit our script. Write an emotionally engaging script through a 30 second YouTube short. That's fine. About, and here we switch it up. About, and then we'll say an AI application database called Future Tools. And we'll provide it even more details. That features 1000 plus AI powered apps or applications. And for this niche, let's switch up the second part too. Let's say, give examples of, and we'll pick three niches that are popular right now. One is definitely speech text. And I happen to know this because I do my research on a daily basis and I use YouTube search and Google trends to follow what is popular right now. All right, you can do that too. Second one would be prompt guides. And then text to video is a topic that is really heating up right now. Okay. And now we're just going to hit enter and get the script. Okay, so it's kind enough to give us a visual description plus what the narrator, aka me, should say too. We all have big dreams, but sometimes the path to achieving them can be difficult to navigate. But what if there was a tool that could help you along the way? Introducing Future Tools, the AI-powered application database with over 1,000 tools to help you reach your goals. Okay, so that's not ideal, but definitely not how I would speak. But let's work with this. I have a follow-up prompt that you can use here too. It goes as follows. Now list the visual description and the voiceover script separately while delivering the voiceover script in one paragraph containing just the spoken words. Enter. And now we got the voiceover script separately. Now look, what I would usually do is get a bullet point script, start editing that myself, adding touches, researching more. So let's just open a text editor right here and edit that script a little bit. Let's just start with the app right away, Future Tools is an AI powered application database with over 1000 tools to help you reach your goals. A lot of these AI tools are all about increasing productivity. So let's say be more productive, very simple. Need to transcribe a conversation, browse the speech text tools, and then say struggling with chat GPT. The prompt guides will keep you on track. Want to create a video but don't have any footage? Our text to video tool has got you covered. For that, I just have to check the category to see what kind of apps are in there. I know most of these, that seems accurate. And I'll just remove this part in the end. We'll just end it with future tools. It's all in one place. 
Perfect, so we have a script that we like here and a visual description to go along with that. And in the second half of this video, we'll be looking at a tool that allows you to edit without knowing how to edit. And I'm happy to announce that that app is today's video sponsor, InVideo, exactly the type of app that I wanted to use for this tutorial, but more on that later. Now, the next step we'll be recording this, which is a little tricky because I'm already recording here, but let's just use OBS. I think my computer should be able to handle this and the audio is going into this already. Honestly, your phone should be good enough here, but let's give it a shot so you can see my process. I'll just say start recording. Recording. And again, I usually don't do scripted things, so I don't even have a teleprompter here. Oh, and it's not AI powered. It's just an AI application database. But let's do the sentence by sentence and then cut out the parts in between. Okay, so the first one, Future Tools is an AI application database with over 1000 tools to help you be more productive. Need to transcribe a conversation? Browse the speech to text tools. Struggling with ChatGPT? The prompt guides will keep you on track. Want to create a video, but don't have any footage? Their text to video tools have got you covered. With Future Tools, it's all in one place. You can find a link in the comments. All right, stop recording and that's how this would look. Now you might've seen that some parts I just read off and that's because I'm gonna be putting a screen record on top of those. All I need is a screen record and for that again, we're gonna use OBS just cause it's so simple. I'm gonna keep in mind that this has to fit on a phone. So we're gonna do this and again, start recording. So the first thing is just future tools itself. Maybe let's get a bigger recording here too. And maybe let's get footage here of 1050 tools. You can always zoom in like this. Perfect. And then let's get the three categories we covered, right? So one of them is text to video. Second one is prompt guides. Third one is speech to text. And I think that wraps it up. Now it's time to edit it. And look, this can be a complicated process. And I'm lucky enough to have a browser based tool called InVideo sponsored this video. I wanted to create this in a while and they came through and said that they're interested in partnering on this idea. Because as you might know, there's a lot of steps that go into editing, right? You need music, you need footage, you need titles, and it all needs to look good enough. And before you go out there, and learn a complicated software that takes time. You can start today by using InVideo. And look, honestly, from my experience, the most important thing if you're trying to do this is just getting started. Nothing is gonna get you more results than starting as soon as possible because a lot of these lessons that I talk about here, you're only going to really understand by doing it. And in a second here, you'll just see how easy it is to use InVideo to edit your videos because they have over 5,000 templates, they have all the stock footage you need, music, and the editor is super intuitive. My favorite part is that you can create an account for free and just try it out, but this is not going to allow you to export the video. So if you actually want to use them, you're going to have to at least get the business plan here. This is the yearly pricing. If you go to monthly, it's 30 a month. And if you use the code AI25 during checkout, you're going to get a 25% discount on this. But hey, enough talking, let's do this. So once you create a new account, it's going to look something like this. And you can go over here on the top right and say create new. Then we go to editor and we want portrait here, right? And right away, it's going to say upload your media files. Alternatively, you could start with stock footage here. But in this case, we're going to be using the video we just recorded. Either way, as I said, if I was starting out, I would simply use a phone camera and hold it closer to me so the mic quality is decent. But this is the clip we just recorded and all we need to do is drag and drag drop it into here. And then while it processes in the background, we can already drag and drop it into the bottom. So we start editing, just say add. All right, and with this little slider over here, I can zoom in. So step one while it's processing is going to be scaling this up to fit the frame. Simple enough, I just drag the corners until it fits. Okay, once I'm centered, we can start editing. And once I find a good spot I wanna cut, I can simply click the scissors or even easier, just press C right there. Now I can delete this. And by selecting that part, I can delete that too. Okay, this looks like a good spot to cut. So I'll just press C. Come on, backspace. Future Tools is an AI application database with over 1000 tools to help you be more productive. Perfect. Let's add a cut here. And as you can see, there's no need to get this perfect on your first try. You always have the power of editing. And here's a little pro tip. If you drag this downwards, you can actually overlay them and you can do a so-called J cut. What that means is that this second clip begins before the first clip is ending and therefore they overlap a little bit. This looks like a J, you see that? And what you get by that is higher engagement because not just that we cut out the pause, but we're hopping right from one point to the next. Just be very careful with this and make it very subtle, but it can help. Check it out. Need to transcribe a conversation? Browse the speech to text tools. Struggling with chat GP. And we'll do one more like this. And I did it for the one before too, so check it out. Need to transcribe a conversation? Browse the speech to text tools. Struggling with ChatGPT? Okay, so I'll just keep doing this and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so now that I have an edit of the message that I'm pretty happy with, this is also referred to as A-roll. 
we're ready to rail in the B-roll, which is going to be sitting on top. And this is our screen recording. And while this process is one thing is clear, we want to start off with a strong title, okay? And this is where NVIDIA is really strong. I don't need to be a graphic designer to pick something that looks good. And we'll go with this one, which kind of looks like the default on many of these short form platforms. And by me doing that, I'm going to be able to distribute this to YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram without having to edit anything inside of those apps anymore. Maximum efficiency. What you want to do here, though, is double click this little zoom from out icon which is the in animation and set this to none and now you have to be aware usually on these platforms you have all these buttons on the right and the comment section on the bottom so if you're going to place it here it's going to be invisible somewhere close to the middle where it's not covering up my face is a sweet spot and now i'm going to double click this and i'm going to pick a catch title which yet again chat gpt could generate and i'm just going to say now generate me 10 emotionally engaging titles and this is where I'm going to start pointing out a critical fact in all of this. You need to start thinking in terms of batch productions. We're not creating one short here. This is going to be one of a hundred shorts for this channel, okay? Because for you to do this successfully, you're going to have to do this consistently over a period of time. And the best way to do that is batch some of these contents. So when I was thinking about the ideas, I was already thinking, how am I going to create the next 20 episodes of this format if it catches on? And ChatGPT obviously is a massive help here. For example, here we have these 10 titles. Let's pick one that we like. These are a little long to put them into the video so let's just say make them shorter hmm, so i definitely like this 1000 plus apps so what if we just keep it simple and we say future tools 1000 plus ai apps i kind of like that there's no rule saying you have to use one of these let's just combine it we can even switch the font up here so i kind of like helvetica bold so I think Helvetica should do the trick here. Perfect. Future Tools is an AI application database with over 1,000 tools to help you be more productive. Need to transcribe a conversation. Okay, and for the ending, we're gonna right click and say duplicate. And we're gonna do the same thing. Double click. Link in comments. Okay, now I can drag and drop the screen recording. Select the part where the tools are loading in. Let's take this. Can I highlight it? That's gonna be our first clip. Add. This should be quite good for the intro. I'm just going to scale it up so it fits in here nicely. And for this first clip, let's do something fancy. And I'm actually going to make myself smaller so I'm on top here. How about that? And luckily, this is a crop tool in here. So I can take out the toolbar on top and make this cleaner. Look at that. Perfect. Now all I have to do is move this title. 1,000 tools to help you be more productive. Need to transcribe a... Nice. Let's just make sure it cuts off. Tools. Struggling with ChatGPT? The prompt guides will keep you on track. Want to create a video but don't have any footage? Their text to video tools have got you covered. Okay, let's just not forget to go to the volume here and turn it down. And we'll do the same for the free next clips. And here we're actually gonna full screen. This will look fine once it's rendered. Okay, I'm actually quite happy with that. Now, all we need is some music in the background, but luckily NVIDIA has a library too. Optionally, if you want more work, you could go into the app and pick some of the popular music tracks there and latch onto some trends. That's not a bad idea. But in a video like this, where all we need is background music, I would go with one of the tracks here. And maybe let's go with Playful. Okay, this sounds good. Let's try it out. What I want from this is to drive it the video forwards. So it needs to be progressive in terms of structure and interesting enough to maintain the viewer's attention. Okay, just trim a little bit of the beginning here. Future Tools is an AI application database. Okay, we just need to make it a little more silent. Right click, volume. And by turning on ducking, which essentially means that it lowers the audio volume in the parts where other sounds are playing, for example, my voice. And we can bring this to, let's say, minus 22 dB and see how it sounds. Future Tools is an AI application database. <laughs> nice, great track. This really helps. Future Tools is an AI application. Maybe let's do a little more because it's short and it can be a little more dynamic. Future Tools is an AI application database with over 1,000 tools to help you be more productive. Need to transcribe a conversation? And here the rule is always just listen on proper headphones and you'll figure it out. Okay, that sounds good to me. And as a last step, I want to actually consult ChatGPT one last time. If you remember, it gave us a list of things that would be useful on here. So because we're using our face, we don't need as much B-roll. But NVIDIA has a lot of these templates and stock footage, right? So in this case, we didn't even use a template. We made everything from scratch. But it says person speaking into microphone. We have that. Person using a tool with prompts. Maybe we could include ChatGPT, but I don't think it's needed. Person typing into a computer with text appearing and transitioning into video. Video, closing shot of future tools logo i like these last two so let's just go to videos let's just try frustrated computer perfect this is even more relatable and engaging than showing a chat gpt screen record 
just scale it up. And let me just say here, objectively, NVIDIA has a fantastic stock footage library. With the free plan, you already get a sea of stock footage to pick from, but that sea turns into an ocean once you upgrade. Fucking with ChatGPT, the prompt guides will keep. Okay, and then last but not least, let's include the website logo here. Let's just save it to the desktop. And here we can simply go to logo, upload logo. And you know what? The ending is going to be a perfect spot for this. Let's just place it in an area where it has a little bit of contrast. Like so. And that wraps it up. We're done. We can go to export. 1080p and export. And if you want to start doing this yourself, no editing skills required, you can use the link in the description below. And if you get one of the plans, make sure to use the code AI25 to get 25% off. And if you want to go even deeper and learn about more tutorials on this software, you can check out their YouTube channel. And there's one more thing which is going to make all of this even simpler. And it's another reason why you should start today because they're going to be releasing an AI video creator, which is going to allow people to create shorts like this in even less time. Have a look at this. What if all you need to create a video is an idea? Pack a giant bubble wrap suit and roll into the black hole and explore your own private planet. So this is going to write the script, generate the voice, pick the footage and edit it for you. Same goes for graphics. Okay, perfect. The short is done. Let's have a look. Future Tools is an AI application database with over 1,000 tools to help you be more productive. Need to transcribe a conversation? Browse the speech text tools. Struggling with ChatGPT? The prompt guides will keep you on track. Want to create a video but don't have any footage? Their text to video tools have got you covered. With Future Tools, it's all in one place. You can find a link in the comments. Dude, amazing short. I'll just add captions and post that to YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram today. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, you're guaranteed to like this one, which also talks about creating content with ChatGPT. I'll see you there.